Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Justin with Retro Game Hunters, and I still don't have an intro for our logo. So, uh, I'm just gonna kinda ramble until the other part of the video starts. Hey, here we go! Alright, so what we're gonna be talking about today is, this is just a little tutorial for the Mr. FPGA. Uh, this script was written by Retro Driven, and a lot of these wallpapers are done by Ranny... I forget the rest of the last name, I apologize for that, but if you go to follow RetroDriven on Twitter, which I highly recommend you do, uh, you'll see him commenting. Uh, follow him too, he's awesome. But what you can do with this is uh, it basically randomizes the wallpapers for the Mr. FPGA. So every time you restart, you see a new wallpaper appear, and that's pretty awesome. Uh, you can also mess with the INI file. Um, I can go over that in another video if you want, but I didn't for this one. Uh, what that will do is basically I believe set it to true so this way uh, you can kind of select your favorite wallpaper and it won't randomize it but what I did was I clicked on that little link that prompted me to download the you know script file uh, I just created a directory for it went ahead and downloaded that uh, then recently he came up with an update for it version 1.1 of the script uh, so what I did here was I just went ahead and highlighted everything and every oh that's too much of everything okay highlighted that portion of everything I'm gonna go ahead and copy and I'm gonna go to the directory where I have my script and I already extracted it with 7-zip uh, you can use WinZip or WinRAR I don't really recommend WinRAR uh, I don't recommend 7-zip or I don't recommend WinZip 7-zip uh, I do recommend uh, so I edited it with Notepad. You can use Notepad++. It's usually better. I just forgot to at this time. Uh, and I just replaced everything uh, in the old script with the new script. And I just left it as the same name. But you could change the name to whatever you want. Uh, at this point, I'm really just using FileZilla to FTP into the Mr. FPGA. You just need to know the IP address of your Mr. Uh, you can find that information out on the you know, as soon as you boot into the uh, Mister, just look over to the, like, press the left key or escape, and you'll see it. Uh, pretty much, you can also do this with an SD card. I just prefer to use uh, FTP, but you can use any program you want that's, you know, your favorite FTP client. I just prefer FileZilla. Uh, from here, it's just going up a directory, going to media, fat, and then there's a scripts folder. Now you can either drag and drop the script from the FTP client itself, or through File Explorer. You know, dealer's choice at that point. Uh, if you don't see it appear right away, you can actually kind of refresh the FTP screen, and this way you can kind of make sure that the file did actually transfer. But you'll notice on the bottom there it says Q failed or successful transfers. You can also look at that, and that'll tell you if it was successful or not. And then there is a, as soon as you run the script on the mister, there's a folder that gets created called wallpapers, and you can see all the wallpapers that were applied. Uh, from this point, we're just going to go ahead and close this out, and let's shoot over to the mister. And look at that, we're at the mister right now. Ah, uh, that's magical, right? Yeah, that's the that's magic of editing. Uh, so pretty much you can see that I have the Contra background. Uh, I already ran the script. But if you just go over, if you hit escape on your keyboard, you can get to this menu. Uh, or if you have hotkeys set up, you can use those. But you can go right into scripts. You're going to hit yes. Uh, you know, don't even read that. Don't worry about it. Just, just hit yes. It's fine. It's going to be fine. Everything's fine. I think. Yeah, no, everything's fine. Don't worry about that. Um, you can scroll down to where, you know, you name the name of the file, the name of the script. Uh, then you just basically go ahead and run that script. Uh, you're going to see a bunch of white lettering appear. You know, kind of looks like you're hacking a matrix. That's always fun and exciting. Uh, once that is done, you can pretty much either unplug the Mr. FPGA, plug it back in, and you'll see a new wallpaper appear. Or you can go ahead and just do like a cold reboot while you're in a core, and that'll also have the Mr. Uh, the new wallpapers appear for the Mr. FPGA. Uh, I'm just going to call it Mr. I hate that. That's too long to keep calling it FPGA. Anyway, another way, another thing you do have to do before, um, you know, while you're in the mister is you do have to have your keyboard plugged in and make sure you hit F1 until you get to one of the wallpapers. Once you get the wallpaper selected, you can do the hard reboot or soft reboot and you'll see the wallpaper change. Uh, 
as always, thank you for watching this video. I crazy appreciate it. And I hope you guys have an amazing day and a great weekend. I don't know when this video is coming out, but either way, thank you.